My name is Demike Papchoglu and I am a staff scientist at SuperSTEM Laboratory in Derspree. The SuperSTEM lab is administered by five uh, different UK universities, University of Leeds, Liverpool, Manchester, Glasgow and Oxford. A STEM is a scanning transmission electron microscope and the way it works is the equivalent of an optical microscope using light uh, to illuminate and magnifying things. An electron microscope uses electrons to magnify things as well. This is uh, Super STEM 2, is uh, a neon ultra STEM uh, 100. And the way this microscope works is we accelerate electrons through an electron source. The electrons coming out of the source are then directed through the column through a set of lenses, electromagnetic lenses, which include what we call an aberration corrector, which is a way to uh, correct for the aberrations of electromagnetic lenses. The sample itself sits at this level here. The electrons will go through the sample, it's a transmission microscope, and through another set of lenses will be directed to the detector tree. The detectors will collect electrons and form the images. On the top of the microscope you have what is called an ener electron energy loss spectrometer which collects electrons that have lost energy going through the sample and this gives us information about the electronic structures of the materials we're looking at. As material science progresses towards nanoscience, small features within the sample such as defects or grain boundaries become increasingly important. This is where microscopy comes in. With a microscope we can not only visualize but see which become increasingly important as the material dimensions become smaller. SuperSTEM is heavily involved in uh, graphene research, which is one of the materials that has been dubbed as a miracle material these days. It's uh, very interesting for applications from sensors to quantum computers. SuperSTEM was the first facility to ever uh, provide lattice images uh, of uh, graphene. We're also able to do atom-by-atom -atom analysis of graphene itself look at defects in graphene and how these affect the properties, look at dopants, single dopants, and see how these bond to the graphene lattice and what effect they have in graphene properties. These are very exciting times for SuperSTEM. We're expecting in a few months the installation of the third instrument called the SuperSTEM 3. This is going to be not only the energy resolution of the microscope will be improved by about two orders of, of magnitude, which will allow us to do experiments at the deep valence uh, level. It's going to be one of the best microscopes in the world in terms of, of energy resolution and the only one installed uh, in Europe of this kind.